Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off. Uh, in this little port town area with the restaurant, which we don't have a reservation for. And you guys have left me a couple of comments, um, which are quite helpful. Um, so Darkwing Arama, I think that's how you say that. If it's not, then um, let me know in the comments, because um, I don't want to get it wrong. Has um, said that we could buy some of the gum, um, which I believe was back at the voodoo lady's house. Um, he said apparently we might have something that we can buy it with and it may come in handy. Um, so I'm guessing that's a sort of a hint. And also, um, hey, what the hell is this? Oh, this is a new area. I didn't even know this existed. Some sort of like game or something. Yeah, so apparently, right, let's not come here yet. We're going to follow up on these comments first, but we'll remember this is here. Um, so that was one comment, so we're going to go and do that straight away. Um, and also, um, Prevo Maniac 999 says that apparently we missed a couple of buildings in the uh, port town here where we can go into. Apparently, wherever there's a, an arrow, like, um, for instance, there, it means you can explore that area. So... Um, I think we have to go down here, don't we? Oh, we can double-click to go back to the map. That's useful. Or double-click just to skip straight there. Ah, interesting. Okay. So, he oh, here's the gum machine here. So, apparently, what we might be able to do is use a the bag of nickels on here to get some gum. Wow, I got a whole pack of gum. Wow, a whole pack of gum. Okay. So what that comes in useful for, I have no idea. We still have nickels. Um, apparently we can also do something cool with these. If we, like, um... They're very festive. Very festive. They're fun, but I need to use them with something else. Apparently we can, like... Oh, we can. We can inhale them. Oh, this made my voice sound funny. <laughs> Oh, I wonder if it stays. Let's um, quickly examine something. <laughs> it does as well. <laughs> that's quality. Oh, thank you for the comments, guys. Oh, that's made my day. That has. Does it last for the whole area or something? Are we? Do we miss that pin there? It's a voodoo pin. Oh, can we pick that up? No, we can't. What the hell? What a relief. Oh. Can we pick that up as well? It. No. It's just a toy. Well, it's not. I don't oh, need it. I wonder if that It's just a toy. Was like in the guy's back or something because it's stabbed into the back of the doll on the floor. We might have just cured his bad back or something <laughs> completely by accident. Right, let's leave this area. So we can double click to go back to the map. That's quite useful actually. Um so let us go back to town then. We'll have a further look around because we've missed all sorts of areas here. Um, that was the barber's shop, wasn't it? Let's see if there's anywhere else that we can go to with the arrow. Oh, there's something here. Right, let's go here first. And we'll take a look around here. Grassy Knoll. Oh, look. A log pile. Do we, like, chuck logs or something? Curious pile of logs there. Okay, we can't lift it up. Those are too big to be toothpicks. Ooh, I wonder if we can use the helium balloons on it. I can't use a balloon with that. No. Do we have anything else we could use, perhaps? We do have this ember on the stick. I've got a feeling we need to set something on fire with that. Um, but I'm not too sure what yet. Um, we've also got the pack of gum. I'm not sure what we do with that. Uh, what the hell was that? Sawhorse. Is that what the keg's on? Looks like it, doesn't it? It's a wooden sawhorse supporting that keg of rum. Okay, can we? Well, I like rum as much as the next pirate, but that's a little much. It's an enormous keg of old gut glass brand rum. Okay. Nah, I need to keep a clear head for now. Can we collect it in anything? I don't think we can. Um, I think that's about it for here. Oh, a rubber tree. Wonder what we can do with this. Maybe stick the pin in it or something. There are ants crawling all over it. Oh, ants! Okay. I could never hope to move that tree. Nah. Uh, can we potentially do something with the pin? 
Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look, more plaques. I wonder if we have to read these. Sumatran rubber tree. Donated to Puerto Pollo by our Sumatran sister city of Vacaville. This tree is the only one of its kind in the entire western hemisphere. Isn't there one literally right next to it? Symbol of the friendship between our two cities. Like two even right next to it. Okay, there's another plaque here. Another rubber tree. Mm, no. Okay. Caribbean rubber tree. Oh, I see. One of the many rubber trees common throughout the Caribbean used as raw material for shipbuilding. Ah, oh, shipbuilding. I wonder if we have to build a ship. I could never hope to move that. Um, I mean, could we potentially burn it to get some rubber? Perhaps, but let's um, let's not do it unless we have to. Because <laughs> I don't want to um do go too far ahead and doing stuff that I don't know what I'm doing. So. There's a mysterious door here. Can we potentially look at opening this? Mysterious. Can we... Oh, we can. Oh, we just come out up here. Okay, nice, but entirely pointless. Where does this take us to? Just back around the corner or something? Yeah, it does, I think. Right, so... I think there was another door, wasn't there, that we just saw over here, maybe? Or, like, down this alleyway? Because we couldn't get into here. This is locked. So maybe if we try it, is this, is this a door or is it down the alleyway? Oh, no, it's a door. What the hell is this place? Is this where we just saw that guy? Worn travel trunk. It's an old travel trunk. It's covered with stickers from many faraway places. Ooh, fancy. Can we open it? It looks too heavy for me to carry. How do we open again? It looks too heavy for me to carry. Uh, I can't remember the command to open things. Oh, I'm not sure what I just did there. I think I paused it. Oh, there's a pirate coat. Let's have a look at that. Looks like a nice coat. With just a few flakes of unsightly dandruff. Ugh. Dandruff. Oh, dandruff. Can we... We can collect that I think less of this guy just because of a slight problem with... Hey, this isn't dandruff. What is it? Oh. What is it? Oh, it's lice. Oh, that is disgusting. Look at the way it's moving. Oh, God. Oh, that makes me feel really weird. Jo, I can't even really look at that. The animation on that is making me feel very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, um, can we take this coat? No. What else do we have around here? A mirror. Oh, I like that we're actually in the mirror. Play for. A dashing rogue pirate. <laughs> Can we talk to the I... mirror? Mm, no. Ooh, a magic cat. It's empty. Oh, it's empty. Or is it? Oh, okay. I think that might be a hint. What else do we have in here? Oh, there's a wig over here. Can we take that? No, I like the natural look. No, okay. Uh, a fake sword. Let's take that. I don't need a prop. Can we open that drawer? No. Hey, what's that? A magic wand. Watch me make this disappear. <laughs> um, a fake crown. Fake swords. Let's try and take that stuff. A blood island sticker. A okay. That's interesting. Let's have a look at that. Hey, it's a sticker from Blood Island. It says, Blood Island is for bleeders. <laughs> a message from the Blood Island Tourism Council. Nice. Hey, maybe the performer who owns this trunk knows how to get to Blood Island. Ah. Can we take that? It's stuck to the trunk. Can we take the fake swords? I don't need a problem. Oh, I wonder if we can use... Hang on. My, my uh, pirate senses are tingling, guys. Use the magic wand of the magic cat. Sleeve? Here we go. Wingardium Leviosa! Hey, what is Presto. that? Hey, it worked! There's something inside. A book. Nice. Let's take this book. Joe, as soon as he said, or is there, to something being in the hat, that I knew that we had to get into it somehow. Right, the book. How do... Hang on. How do we look at the this? The A-V-C's of ventriloquism. Ventriloquism? What the hell are we supposed to do with ventriloquism? Anyway, I think we can go this way. Maybe talk to the person who is in the play. Oh my. Oh no, okay, it's just a... 
It's just a play, I think. Oh, there's a headstone there. Ahoy! Uh, what's that putrid stench ridden drivel you're rehearsing? Can I join your show? Have you been to Blood Island? Let's just go straight in with the sort of. Blood Island was once the place to be if you were an artist in the Caribbean. Really? Those were the days. We were young and wild, pushing the limits of our craft. Mm -hmm. Oh, what risky, daring performances we gave. I see. We weren't afraid to shock or offend the stodgy, mainstream sensibilities of our audiences. Oh, what did you perform? Dinner theatre, mostly. Right. Could you tell me how I can find Blood Island? My agent, Palado Domingo, always handled the traveler. Ah. Where can we find he him? How to get there. Where exactly is Any he? Any idea where I could find him? He's a member of the Brimstone Beach Club here. Ah, okay. You might catch him there. So we're going to have to go to the Beach Club. And we've got to become a special member of the club, haven't we, to get to the beach. Um, so we'll have to figure that out to be able to go and talk to him to find out where Blood Island is. Um, can I join can your I show? Join your show? Good heavens, no. Why not? I could hear your awful singing in the barber shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. I like it. Please, can I join your show? Please, can I join your show? Good heavens, no. And stop whining. Jeez. Acting is my life. Let me join. Acting is my life. Let me join your show. Good Sometimes you have to force these things, guys. Uh, but I don't think this is it. Um, I'm a dangerous pirate. Who are you? I'm a dangerous pirate. Who are you? Cromwell. Cromwell. Slappy. Slappy Cromwell. Okay. It's not my real name, actually. My agent told me my given name just didn't have star quality. Ah, I see. What was your given name? Rex Fortune, adventure seeker. Ah. I see. Adventure Seeker. What's that putrid stench ridden drivel that you're rehearsing? What's that putrid stench ridden drivel that you're rehearsing? But this, this is the master word. Yeah, if you say so, man. I'm not Do buying it really myself. Sounded pretty crap from where I'm standing. Oh, it's that bad. Oh, it's that bad. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have altered the material. Yeah, go back to the original material. Could I have taken up my wretched pen and stabbed it bodkin like through the unsullied poetry? Of the I don't know. Master. I was just wondering that myself. You rewrote Shakespeare? I was compelled. <laughs> Not a single person was coming to any of my performances. You can't rewrite Shakespeare. Oh, Not men enough to confront their own sensitive inner natures. Well, I'm I'm one of a kind pirate, so. Contracted the brilliance of decades into a forty-five minute review. Ah. Spear. <laughs> okay. Um. Why can't you go back to the original scripts? Why can't you go back to the original scripts. Oh, the sweet, sweet, bitter irony of it all. Now that you have confirmed that I have produced a work of unredeemable trash. I'm more or less guaranteed to have a financial success in my hands. Ah, oh, I see. Why do I find that strangely encouraging? <laughs> okay. Uh, carry on. Carry on. Come on, slap it. You've got to get to so the a plank right here. A headstone. Jeez, these lice are disgusting. Oh, I wonder if we can use the lice back in the barber shop. headstone from Hamlet. Okay, is there anything we can pick up here? It's a prop tree. We had better looking trees in my fifth grade school play. It's too big to carry. Uh, okay, can we do anything with this plank while we're still here? Some sort of plant here as well. I guess they changed the end of Romeo and Juliet. I don't need a plank to walk. Right, let's talk to this guy. So how'd you get roped into doing this show? I'm a spokesmodel, actually. Oh, I see. What I really want to do Your costume's already good, man. People just don't take you seriously when you're a spokesmodel. Yeah. How surprising. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Break a peg leg. Thanks. What fools oh, that's it. Okay. Um, I don't think there's really anything oh, else I'm here. Never going to get ready for this Maybe we can come back and watch the show at some point. Oh, yeah. That whole... Uh, but I think we might be done in here. So I'm thinking... Well, I mean, we've got to get into the beach club somehow. Um, are there any other doors we can get in? I don't think so. I think we might have been everywhere. If, I, if I've missed somewhere, let me know, guys. 
Um, let us then go to... Should we go back to the barbershop? I want to see if we can use these lice to somehow get... Can we use it to get that guy at the chair, perhaps? What's that? Is that a person? Oh, no, it's the barbershop sign. Right. Let's, um... It looked like someone was peering around the corner, but it's not. Okay, can we maybe put these lice somewhere on this guy or something? No, I don't want to use the lice with him. I don't think he'd like that. What if we use them on the jar of combs? They would drown in there. Oh, yeah. What if we use them on Captain Rottingham? I think he'd notice. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we don't use the lice. We use it on the book. Oh, hang on. How to use lice with that. He's just picked up that comb. Right. Do we use it on the comb? Yes, we do. Oh, it makes me feel so ill. The hair demons? Not the hair demons. It's true, man. Oh, I can feel them crawling on me. It's nasty. Who's Ironsides? That's a bad sign. <laughs> Amputate? Oh, okay, he's gonna cut his hair off. <laughs> Get out. Okay, can we talk to the pirate now, maybe? Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton. Okay. Uh, how did you become a barber pirate? How did you become a barber pirate? I spent ten years at sea on board the HMS Anathema, the fastest ship in the Scottish Navy. Right. So how did that help you become a barber pirate? That was a clip of ship. <laughs> it's dreadful. Oh, I've heard some bad ones over the years playing Monkey Island games, but that was absolutely atrocious. <laughs> it's a clipper ship. Oh, jeez. So you started this salon. Jesus Christ, a clipper ship. So, yeah, word got around. Oh, gee, I still can't get over that joke. Oh, it's just shockingly bad. Oh, it's just like dad joke extreme, isn't it? Um, do you know, I want to know more about the safe hair replacement systems. I want to know more about safe hair replacement systems. Ah, there's no such thing. Poofy would be proud of that one, guys. Poofy, if you're watching, um, add that to your repertoire. It's quite a good one. Um, do you know any rousing pirate songs? Do you know any rousing pirate stories? Well, there is the story of the secret of Bulky Island. We were a crew. Do you mean Monkey Island, not Bulky Island? Jake McJuggernaut, the most powerful captain on the seas. One night in port, Captain Jake heard a tale of an enormous treasure buried somewhere on Bulky Island. He He's thinking about Big Wood. Landed on the island within a fortnight and found the treasure the next morning. Huh. Okay, Bulky Island. Where's that? Bulky Island. Where's that? You won't find it on any map. Captain Jake took the location of the treasure to his grave. Ah. Oh, it was a beautiful sight. A tremendous Can we perhaps find his grave? Gold. Big Jake leapt into the hole and wrapped his sinewy arms around the chest. He gathered his resolve, counted to three, filled his lungs and lifted with all his might. Mm -hmm. The sound of his back cracking brought a grimace oh. from the most steel-hearted human. By nightfall, the lot of us were lying on the beach, writhing in pain. Not trying to lift the thing. Why didn't you lift with your knees? <laughs> Why didn't you flood the hole and let the chest float out? Why didn't you flood the hole and let the chest float out? That would have been the weak man's way out. Ah, yeah, of course. The weak man's way out. Mm. The weakling used a lever and took the chest, laughing at us as he carried it to his ship. And my proud Captain McJuggernaut died in traction. Yeah. Cussing himself for not being strong enough. I can see why. Um, how would you like to join my crew? How 
How would you like to join my crew? You seem like a nice enough sort, Guybrush. But a man cannot serve as my captain unless he earns me respect. Okay, so how do we do that? And how would a man go about doing that? By besting me in a time-honored test of strength. Ah, and what would that be? Wrist wrestling? <laughs> Australian rules football? Uh, helping you move? Uh, let's say... Australian rules football. Australian rules football. No, I'm talking about the traditional Highland Oh, I wonder if that's the thing up with the logs. Yeah, the caber toss, that's it. Um, that's the thing where they lob the big logs up at the thing. But in school, I was always picked last for caber tossing. Oh, but in school, I was always picked last for caber tossing. <laughs> maybe it's because you weren't familiar enough with the sport. Maybe. Or maybe you I see, just suck. The caber is a large tree trunk. We go to the field of competition, and each of us heaves the caber as far as he can. The man whose caber goes the farthest is the winner. That's yep. just about the stupidest sport I've ever heard of. When I watch cable television. <laughs> I, but you cannot argue with tradition. Okay, um, sounds great. Let's do it. Sounds great. Let's do it. It is here. Right, how do we do it? I right, didn't throw it that far, did he? Oh. I would never follow such a weak captain. Right, so we've got to find a way of getting stronger then to be able to do this. Um, but that actually brings us nicely to time for this episode um, because we are out of it. So. We've got to find a way of doing insult sword fighting with this guy. Get some new insults. This guy, I can't remember what we've got to do. We'll have to go through that again in the next episode, I think. And we need to get strong to be able to do the caber toss, or maybe rig it in some way. Perhaps we can use the rubber tree instead of the normal tree logs. Maybe that would be lighter or something. Maybe we can find a way of cutting down one of the rubber trees and using those. I don't know. But either way, we've got to find a way of beating him at caber toss to get him on our crew. Um, so it's slowly sort of, come, sort of starting to come together. Um, I know what I've got to do. It's just how to go about it, really, which is um, giving me a bit of trouble at the moment. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I will see you all next time.